Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. All right, we have a question that came in customer service. This is from Jim Deslandis, or Deslands. He says, Don, have you considered the possibility that the lifting of the club in the backswing to the vertical position can possibly disconnect the left arm from the body? This question has nothing to do with the thoughts in the reverse engineering project, or subject. The question is raised because a few pros I know have the opinion that the upright swing promotes the left arm disconnect. Your friend Jim Dislandis. Okay, Jim. Oh, I thought about it a lot. All right, and yes, it can happen. But just because it can happen doesn't mean that, that this swing is flawed or, or that it's not a good swing to make. Because again, as you said, many pros, many pros believe, uh, have the opinion the upright swing promotes the left arm disconnect. Well, just like I could go the other say that the other way and say that that what does what does the rotational swing promote? It promotes the left arm breaking down and the club going fat. All right, so they got their issues on that one too. But I'll take vertical all day because why? Vertical is 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 up and down. It's in harmony with gravity. We're swinging, we're swinging and having gravity as our friend, not at our enemy, which it is, which is the other way. And being with our friend, guess what else? Our body's designed for our arms to swing up and down. That's the only way they go. They can't go through and they can't go around. And when we swing up, the club is light versus heavy where the club falls back there. So they're playing by, they're, they're, they not only have gravity against them, they got, they got all the other laws involved because a vertical swing with gravity helping it is also, is also the, way, the, the, the optimum way to swing, a, to swing and maximize the law of centrifugal force. Swinging a rock up and down, it goes up and down really e a lot easier. As soon as I start to tilt that rock a little bit, I gotta add more power, more energy to the swing. Why? Because the slit leads, when I'm swinging it more as a tilt rock, right? As like a tilt wheel, the slightest little twitch or hitch, boom, the rock falls out of orbit. Whereas here, it just wants to keep going and going. And guess what we get with, it, with the rock? Half of every swing is free. It goes up, it comes down free. We swing, we get up to the top, and we swing up, and we start with our bump, the club comes straight down. And, 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 it, and it, it gets some freedom of gravity pulling my arms and the club down with, once I add my energy to it and, and accelerate, I can explode through the ball. I'm getting free energy. So that's why we want to do this, to truly answer your question now. Have I discussed that, that it's, it's very, uh, or have I taken into consideration that it can, the left arm can become disconnected? Yeah, they both could become disconnected. And, and that's, why, that's why it's so important to maintain our angles and, 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 and maintain our level and keep our head still. Keep the keep the stern the top of the sternum. When I swing, when I lift my arms up, the the string swinging the rock at the end of a string. This is the rock. This is the string to where it connects in the in the left in the, in the left shoulder for a right-handed golf on my forward shoulder. When I lift that, when I lift the arms up, one of the things I want to do is make sure that I never change my spine angle. Now, way back in the last century, when when I started figuring this out in the early 80s, and I wrote my first book, Golf Plain and Simple, that. Uh, I, at that time, I was still I was still teaching 90 degree turn, uh, parallel club 90 degrees, and those pictures are actually in that book. And but I was in the infancy of starting to think about it. And if you go and get that book, and, and if you could find one, I, I I hear every now and then somebody tells me they find one on they find one on uh, Amazon.com or something. If you go and you get to the top, you read the, the chapter in the chapter about the backswing. I mentioned in the backswing, but even though I, I'm talking 90 degree turn and parallel, I, I said in that chapter. Only, you can only swing to that position if you can maintain your spine. If you can't get there and maintain your spine angle, then you, don't, you only go as far as you can maintain your spine angle. Because even back then, I was starting to see the problems of, of too much movement causing a problem. And that, that, that theory of, of maintaining the spine angle eventually uh, grew into the wide knees outward pressure. Knees are level. They stay level, wide with outward pressure. This cuts down the turn and helps me stay and if I, if I don't turn too much, I can lift nicely to three quarters. And, and again, I'm focusing on my spine. I want to lift as far as I can go. I got to transition before I reach the very, very top so that I don't get that tilt and change my spine. And so the, the wide knees outward pressure, and my new surgeons might be saying for those are, the knees are the bees, move them too much and you're going to get stung. What's going to sting you is they stop breaking down, you lose your levelness in the knees, you're going to lose your levelness in the hips, the spine, the head, everything's going to move, and you could be going back and forth or, or you get forward and, you, and you're around. It just causes all the problems. It's like trying, if you start losing your spine angle because of too much knees, which is usually the main cause, what happens? You might, as well be trying, you might as well be trying to hit a ball standing on a waterbed. That's how, that's how difficult it becomes. So yes, I took it into consideration, and that's why I talk about you only lift 
until and you can maintain your spine you ring your bell and you bump that's always in all my teachings it's everywhere that that we have to maintain our spine angle and we bet the best way is the the wide knees outward pressure and that and the limited turn because again it's almost impossible to maintain your spine angle and even your knees if you're turning past 70 degrees especially past 90 where most golfers now are getting many of them are getting 110 20 or 30 degrees in some cases so yes it's a possibility it's a probability it's highly likely if you're gonna if you're gonna you can do it without without thinking or caring uh, and not paying attention that's why it's so important to use your shadow swing to to, to, to see that your shadow stands still and 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 just really feel those wide knees outward pressure stay level and 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 get your butt your bell in the right place to ring the bell just get in a static position here just move this way now this is somewhat even though I moved it's not the dynamics of a club swinging I put my bell right there and I go bing bang and I go so if you don't swing too high you don't swing too far just right and the just writes about what everything in this life a little too much salt the food is ruined a little bit cook it a little bit too long it's burned cook, undercook it it's it's not it's not cooked enough will taste bad and could and could be could hurt you because it's not cooked enough so I mean everything's like that in life I mean your your, your car can uh, get a little put the wrong gas in your car or bad gas in your car it goes bad there's all those faults there's all those things and every one of them has what precautions for you to do and and do things right and and reduce the error the possibility of error and mistakes and everything will be a lot better so the same thing in golf all those probabilities are there it's up to you to work on your technical excellence to get it just right to maintain your angles and then you do that and you're going to find you'll be hitting it much more solid and straight and shooting those lower scores so let's think about the positives do it right and you're not going to worry about those negatives coming in but film yourself check your shadows out or whatever but pay attention to the basics to the fundamentals and your technical excellence and you'll be making good swings and hitting good shots and shooting those low scores. That's it for today and I'll be talking with you all again soon.